All right, so we're gonna be opening up this Lossier drive. So let's go ahead and pop off this rubber piece. So you kind of just stretch this off over and it pops out pretty easily, as you can see. You can only put this on one way because of the way the port is. All right, so we're gonna need a special screwdriver to open this. You need a security Torx bit. Let me see if I can get which size it is. Is this a nine? Okay, so this is a 9, they label it 9H, uh, it's a Torx T9, alright, with a security hole at the end, so you can see there's a hole in it. So let's go ahead and remove these four screws. Hopefully after we remove those four screws, we can just slide it out. The design looks simple from the outside, but we'll find out once we get all these screws off if it's as simple as it seems. Alright, so we're going to get these four screws out. The customer told me that the drive isn't reading, so we're basically going to try and get all the screws out and see if we can pop the drive out. Okay, so as you can see, we just push through the bottom and the drive actually slides out pretty easily. Make sure that you don't get confused. These screw holes actually attach to the hard drive itself when you slide it in. Um, it doesn't look like there's any right way forward or backwards, so you can actually slide it out in and out both ways. There's no specific direction you need to have this in. So this uh, aluminum housing is more just to protect the hard drive and kind of help with cooling. Okay, so the hard drive is in this plastic mount and it looks like you just lift this up slightly. You don't want to lift it too high. So just lift it enough so you can clear the plastic and then you kind of just, usually you can wiggle this and pull this out. So let's see if we can detach it that way or if it's stuck in there, okay? So it seems to be somewhat stuck. Let's just pull on it a bit harder. It is sliding out, so there we go. So this hard drive is just attached with this little adapter here, all right? And I'm gonna try using a SATA to USB adapter to read this hard drive in case sometimes this part is what goes bad. So I'm going to now plug this into my computer and see if it shows up as a drive. If it doesn't, then internally this drive is bad and you will have to send it to a data recovery place. Um, but yeah, other than that, that's pretty much how you get this open. I'm going to go test this drive, see if it works, and then we're going to reassemble this. All right. So I'll see you guys uh, once I've tested the drive and with the assembly. All right. See you in a bit. Right, so sadly the hard drive is dead it's an internal issue I hear like some high-pitched whining and a repetitive like um, sound of the needle going back and forth so we are just gonna put it back together um, I'll recommend a data recovery place to the customer and yeah so basically just slide that back in at an angle push that into place um, I don't know if they're gonna need the inside information so I'll probably let them see that, uh, but this is very simple to put back together. Basically just get this, slide it back in. As you can see, the screws are further back to one side, so you wanna make sure to line it up right. Get that in, all right, and then just put these screws back. And that's pretty much all there is to this. It's pretty simple to get the drive out. Um, the de design is very nice. Um, so yeah, all right. The rubber piece also is pretty simple to get back in. Um, we're going to just get all these screws in a pinch. You can actually use a small flathead screwdriver. Um, you don't want to, if you can help it, but you might be able to, if you can get a flathead screwdriver, as you can see, this flathead screwdriver fits right here. So technically if you get one, um, the right size to fit in there. Let me see if I can show this. So you can see this. I can get this flathead screwdriver to fit in this gap here. And I can actually use this um, to turn. Oh, actually that didn't work. It might have. Did it? Okay, no. I guess it's not lining up right enough. But let's see. Is this one? Maybe I need a bigger. Yeah, you probably need a bigger one. If I use this flathead screwdriver, I'd probably end up um, breaking off the little center post there. Let me try with a larger one and see. Um, maybe a 3.0. Nope, 2.5. Okay, so I think you can actually use a 2.5 flathead here, as you can see. And I can actually somewhat grab this 
but it's a lot harder. So you can probably do it, but it might strip that. So you want to be very careful. I don't want to mess up the customer's drive. So we're just going to use the regular screwdriver. All right. So let's go ahead and get all these screws back in. But uh, in a pinch, you might be able to do it with a flathead, but you want to be very careful. If you feel like it's damaging the screws, um, don't you don't want to continue because if you completely strip out the screw, you're not going to be able to get it back out later. All right, so there we go. We got the four screws back in. Now let's go ahead and get this drive back into here. All right get these corners in just like that make sure it goes in between the two pieces and then just stretch this out and same thing pull that through actually it might be easier to go do the back side first because as you can see this rubber shorter so you want to actually put the back corners in first okay get that in like that and then we can stretch the top ones over just like this okay and just like that all right, get that in. There we go. And that's pretty much it. We got it all reassembled. Hopefully this video helped some of you guys at least open this thing up. You can actually put any two and a half inch drive into here. So if you wanted to put a larger capacity drive, you can. You can even convert this into an SSD if you put a larger SSD into here or you can even put a smaller drive. It doesn't have to be the same size or larger or smaller. All right, so any size 2.5 inch SATA drive should fit in this. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys. Again, if it did, like, subscribe, share my channel with others. If it helped you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. But other than that, that's it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, let's drop this. Bye.